In a time long forgotten when gods and heroes walked the earth, the British Isles were said to be a place of untold power. Legends whispered of 13 treasures, objects of unimaginable magic, objects that vanished into the mist of time. The 13 legendary treasures of Britain, artifacts so powerful they could reshape the very fabric of reality. But where did they go? And do they still exist, hidden in the far corners of this ancient land? Mentioned in the Welsh manuscripts of the 15th and 16th centuries, the 13 treasures are tied to ancient kings, gods, and legendary figures. They were believed to be scattered across the north, hidden in the lands we now call Scotland and Northern England. But these weren't just treasures. They were relics of power. Take Dernwyn, the sword of Riddirk the Generous, a weapon that burst into flames when drawn by a worthy man. Riddirk, a 7th century king, offered his sword to any who asked, but none dared wield it, for they feared its fire. Or consider the hamper of Gwydno Longshank, Found off the sunken coast of Wales, in a land swallowed by the sea, this simple wicker basket had the power to multiply food a hundredfold. A feast for one would become a banquet for hundreds. Then there's the horn of Bran the Niggard, said to have been carved from the head of the centaur Nessus. Whoever held it could wish for any drink and find it filled with whatever their heart desired. Some treasures were meant to bend time and space itself. The chariot of Morgan the Wealthy, for instance, could take its rider to any destination in an instant. King Morgan of Glamorgan ruled centuries ago, but his chariot was said to possess the speed of thought. Others, like the halter of Clidno Iden, could summon any horse its master desired, appearing out of nowhere in the dark of night. But not all these treasures were harmless. The knife of Law Froded the Horseman could serve 24 men at a banquet. Yet on the battlefield, it was a deadly weapon that could change the course of a war. And then, there was the Cauldron of Durnek the Giant, a cauldron that could reveal the truth about men. Brave warriors would see their meat boiled quickly. But cowards, cowards would wait for eternity. Tudwal's Whetstone, a treasure for the brave. If sharpened on this stone, a sword could strike a blow that no man could survive, but only if wielded by a true warrior. The weak would find it powerless. The coat of Padarn Baizrid, another treasure with a catch. It would fit any nobleman regardless of his size. But if a common man tried to wear it, the coat would reject him, exposing the truth of his lineage. The chessboard of Gwendoliu was one of the most mysterious of the treasures. Gwendoliu, a Brythonic king, owned this chessboard of gold and silver, and it played against any opponent by itself. But who really controlled the pieces? The king? Or something far darker? And finally, the mantle of King Arthur himself, a cloak that granted invisibility to its wearer, with this, anyone could disappear from sight, but still see everything around them. This is no mere legend. Two ancient Welsh tales mention its existence. But where are these treasures now? What became of them? In Welsh legends, it is said that Merlin or Murden gathered these treasures, including the Horn of Bran, and disappeared into the glass house. There, he waits with them for the return of King Arthur. But the question remains... Are these treasures still out there, waiting for someone worthy to claim them? The 13 treasures of Britain may be lost, but perhaps they are just waiting to be found. Do you believe in their power? Could you be the one to uncover the secrets of Britain's forgotten past? The answers may be closer than you think. Hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and join us as we continue our journey into the unknown.